This raised a provocative question. How could Egyptian artisans over 2,000 years before Christ have carved something so aerodynamically perfect? Hieroglyphs near its burial site mention a term, pa, it, which Egyptologists translate as to fly. Some argue this simply refers to the soul's flight to the afterlife. Others wonder if the Saqqara bird was part of a deeper understanding of airflow, balance, and motion, knowledge that may have been used in temple ceremonies, or perhaps even lost experimental devices inspired by the flight of ibis and falcons, sacred to the god Horus. Its absence of legs suggests it was never intended to perch. Some believe it could have been mounted atop a mast, acting as a weather vane, its head pointing into the wind. Others propose it was a ritual glider, released from temple roofs during festivals honoring Ra, the sun god, symbolic of the eternal flight of the divine. And yet, when viewed with modern eyes, the Saqqara bird looks unmistakably engineered. 